Experts say your child is seven times safer riding on a school bus than riding in your car with a seatbelt. Well, that's impressive. But as Channel 2 Investigates discovered, impressive safety seats are not slowing down the push for three-point safety belts statewide and here locally. Investigator Mario Diaz speaks with one school transportation executive pushing to beef up seatbelt safety, as well as mothers who know all too well that tragedy can occur in a school bus accident. School buses back on the road, symbolic of the new school year. But their return can be heart-wrenching for some. I start reliving it all over again. In September 2015, Shanine Chapman lost her 14-year-old daughter, Janisha, when the bus she was traveling in tumbled off an overpass along the 610 South Loop. I don't ever get to see her get married. I don't ever get to see her children. <laughs> None of that. Melody Johnson remembers that morning as if it was yesterday. When they said something had happened, I merely thought it was something that had happened at school, not the bus. Johnson lost her 17-year-old daughter, Mariah, in the accident that also injured others. Hopefully, someone will listen that there is a danger out there that no one's talking about. The lack of three-point lap safety belts in school buses is the danger these mothers are referring to. I see a lot of districts that are buying school buses with three-point seat belts, and then there's the ones that opt out. Senate Bill 693 was passed in the last legislature, requiring that all school districts purchasing new buses beginning with 2018 models should have three-point belts in them. Districts can also opt out if they do not have the funds. How many buses within your school system? 1,042 with 93 more coming. Over a month ago, Channel 2 Investigates reached out to several school districts to identify how many of their buses are equipped with safety belts, including three-point safety belts. The school districts include HISD, SciFair, Katy, Humble, A-Leaf, and Fort Bend. All districts mentioned having buses with three-point safety belts, except Fort Bend and Katy. Katy tells Channel 2 Investigates buses purchased in the future will have three-point safety belts. Fort Bend is still considering the matter. Most districts don't transport nearly the percentage of students that SciFair does. Bill Powell oversees transportation for SciFair, a district made up by 1,042 buses. 254 have safety belts, of which 84 have three-point safety belts. But Powell tells Channel 2 Investigates the district will have another 93 buses with three-point safety belts on the roads by late September. There is no doubt SciFair is taking an aggressive approach to ensure that all of their buses in the near future have lab belts inside of them. But not all school districts are the same. In fact, Powell says that what it boils down to at the end of the day is money and exactly where to spend it. They're now struggling to, with, okay, do we spend another six to $10,000 per bus for seat belts, or do we spend that money on security vegetables or, or metal detectors? A challenging struggle considering the recent images of tragedy on campuses close to home as well as beyond. But it's the off-campus safety of children that concerns these mothers, forever bonded by heartache. They realize the role that a three-point safety belt can play in saving a life. We talk to each other every day, and we don't say, oh, it's not gonna happen again. We simply say, when is it gonna happen again? Because no one hears the cry. Nearly all the districts that provided statistics to Channel 2 Investigates have opted to add buses with three-point safety belts to their fleets as older buses are phased out. Again, the only district with no concrete plans moving forward is Fort Bend. Now, if you want to see the numbers for the districts we reached out to, you can find them on click2houston.com under the Investigates section. Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.